Hello and welcome to this little video tutorial on how to install the game The Dark Mod on Linux systems. Now, on the off chance you're not too sure what Dark Mod is or you're not too familiar with it, I'm surprised you found this video, but it is a uh, free and open source game. It's actually, I think, one of the least talked about but best open source games. Like a lot of people out there, they're talking about things like Super Tux Cart, which is fun. But I hardly ever hear people bringing up the Dark Mod, and it's fantastic. I consider it to be the true Thief 4. So if you've played the first two, or even the third, Thief game, and you've always kind of wanted like a newer version of it, the Dark Mod is like the game you're looking for. And what it is, is as far as I know, it's like a rebuilding of the open source engine for Doom 3 that they've converted into basically a Thief game. And it comes with a couple of levels pre-installed, but for the most part, you download levels made by just anyone who wants to make them. And some of these are just okay, but some of them are really quite good, very, very intricate stories. Fantastic game, very underrated, really, really good game. So, you want to install it on your Linux system. The instructions for the Windows install are pretty straightforward, but the Linux ones leave something to be desired. And I owe a bit of thanks to when I first installed this game years and years ago, to the YouTube channel Ubuntu Gaming Project, which I don't think has done many videos recently, as of the date of this recording, they only have 750 subscribers, but their video on installing this was from 2014, and some of the information is still quite useful, even though back then, that version was a lot more difficult to install, and especially when they had the first 64-bit versions, there was a lot of preamble you had to like do. But currently, the installation is significantly easier, so let's go for it. So here's the main page of the website, it's uh, thedarkmod.com. And if you click on downloads, I've already loaded the page here, you get the downloads for Windows, Linux, and then there are some like Mac OS bits, but we're talking about Linux today. So just to download it, you're just gonna click download there and it downloads the file, I've done this already. And it asks you to create a folder named darkmod, all on word lowercase, just in case you're not too sure. In Linux systems, everything is caps sensitive. So um, I'm not sure if it matters too much where you actually save it, but really, like, if you want to save it in a cohesive place, I'm going to follow the instructions and use just lowercase. And what it says to do is to make tdm underscore installer dot linux64 executable with chmod, but it doesn't exactly give you the exact command. And when I first tried to do this ages ago, I was typing in just exactly what it says and it wasn't completely there. What I'm saying is the instructions for this could be a little bit better. So we're going to go through exactly how to do it in this video. So here we go, and I've already downloaded it. You get this zip file here, and I've made a little folder in my games folder called the dark mod. So if you open this up with like an archive manager, there's two files in it. It's just like a hash thing, which I don't think is particularly important, and the actual installer itself. And so here's where we need to open up the old terminal. So to just simply type in that command it gives you on the website into the terminal as is, it wouldn't really do much. We need to actually set up the parameters for it to know what we actually want to do. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the terminal to be communicating with this current folder we're using here. So we're going to change directory, which is the command cd for change directory. And then just to make life easy, I'm going to just highlight, copy and paste that bit at the top. So slash home slash, in my case, Adam, because that's my username, slash games, slash dark mod, hit enter, and we are now in that folder. And here's where the commands are going to start coming in handy. So first things first, we actually need to make this tdm underscore installer dot linux64 executable. So to do that, we're going to type in the command sudo chmod plus x, which makes it executable, and then the name of the file. And as we already have cd'd in, we are in the right directory, so it should just recognize it as tdm underscore installer dot linux 64 hit enter obviously because it's a pseudo command it requires our root password and once you hit enter with your password correctly it won't actually say anything but it has now made it executable but now it's executable how do we actually you know execute it quite simply we need to do dot slash and this is where the install instructions also could have been a little bit easier when you have files like this to actually run them you have to do dot slash so we're going to have dot slash tdm underscore installer dot linux 64 hit enter and now we have a gui that's just appeared a graphical user interface and yeah this didn't used to be a thing and this has made the process so 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 much easier so for the most part they recommend just doing the default so having whatever's here and just clicking ahead i'm going to recommend the same thing we have an install directory here i recommend having previously set up where you want to save it so i'd already made my folder home slash adam slash game slash dark mod so it's going to install it in that directory and i'm just going to hit next 
in which case it is now going through and it is downloading all of the game files and as you can see just behind here it's starting to fill up with everything so I'm going to give this a few seconds or a few minutes depending. I'm currently installing this on a fairly powerful computer. It's a little bit old at this point, but it's fairly powerful. 8 cores, 4 gigahertz. But I did previously do this on my laptop, which is a 2010 MacBook Air running Linux. It's running Zubuntu, and that took quite a while to do this. I'll be honest, that laptop doesn't run this game particularly well. But having previously installed this game on this PC, I know that this PC can run the game very, very well. So we're just going to wait here for a few minutes for this bit to be done. And there we go, that is all of the extra files downloaded. And so now we need to install them. And so the current size of the files is 2 megabytes, and the final size is going to be is 3,706 megabytes, which, given the size of the hard drive and SSDs I have, isn't going to be much of a problem. So I'm going to click Start to start the installation. And so now it's just a case of sitting back and waiting once again. Now, interestingly enough, you might have noticed that this doesn't seem to be actually the end of the downloading and there seems to be a lot more downloading. I've had this error appear. This appeared for me when I did a test run of this before I did the video and I had to restart. So all I'm going to do is click close. It takes you back to this part again and I'm going to click start again. And last time I did this, it just then installed just fine. A few moments later... And here we are now coming into the closing stages of this. And now another little bar's appeared and it's taking everything that's been downloaded. It actually took my computer quite a while there as my internet's being used for other things at the moment as well. So it took a little while to download, but I guess it might depend on the speed of your computer, but also more importantly, the speed of your internet. But from this point on, it should all be basically just your computer unpacking everything and uh, yeah, installing the mod. So it should only be a little bit longer now. And there we go, installation finished successfully. Click close to exit, and that is it. The dark mod is now installed on your computer, and it says closing installer after successful install. So from this point on, all you need to do to run the game is if we scroll down to the bottom here, you've got this one, which is the dark mod x64. You don't need to go for the uh, .exe, you just want to go for the dark mod .x64. And opening this up will start up the game. The screen resolution will probably be off, so you need to fix that. And the only other thing to do, which I'm going to let uh, you decide how you want to do it, is to set up this into your menu for your desktop environment, and that changes depending on which desktop environment you use. But let's quickly run it and see how it looks. Now for me, as you can see, uh, only the bottom half of the screen is appeared. Onto settings, onto video, uh, let's change the aspect ratio and the screen resolution. It's just there if I hit escape. And just after I finished filming there, I actually decided to boot the game back up again. And it seems that the settings I changed in the game actually took effect, because now if I open up the game... It's set up properly and is in full screen and is to the correct screen resolution as well. Now you have the dark mode installed on your computer. And if you found this video useful, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.